From the heart of Wayne County, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television, Goldsboro, North Carolina. Today is Thursday, it is the 16th of March 2017, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley, and who are you? Uh, my name is Micah Castillo, I'm a senior at Charles Baycock High School today. Micah Castillo, hey yes, man, hey, hey, how you hey, doing? I'm doing good, Micah's our co-host today, he's uh, uh, here as a, as a, what are you doing here? Um, well for our entrepreneur class, we had our um, social worker come and tell us about a job shadowing experience that we would be able to participate in. And there you go. That's it. All right. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I'm glad I'm here, too. So you're a senior at ACOG now, Yes, sir, right? I am. All right. And uh, what are your interests in, uh, in high school? What do you like to do? Sports. That's sports. One thing, sports. Sports. All right. What do you do in sports? What are your, um, what, what's the A for? The A, that's ACOG, and then under it it says football. So I was a... Uh, four-year football player. I played JV varsity my freshman year and yeah. then sophomore through my senior I started on the varsity level. Oh well, that's great. And then I also run track. I like to jump over hurdles. I know a lot of people don't do that but I find it fun and it's always exciting. So you, you enjoy the hurdles? <coughs> yes sir, I do. <coughs> what, what distance? Uh, I do 110 which is the 100 meter mark and some 10 extra meters and the 300 hurdles too. Whoa. Those are, it's the shorter but they're spaced out. It's a longer race. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes that's not as fun, but it's okay. <laughs> Do you ever fall? I see people falling a lot going over hurdles. Um, I have fell in um, last year's county meet at Rosewood. Yeah. And so that was kind of embarrassing, but other than that, that's, oh, that's no, the only you time. You can't be embarrassed <laughs> by that, man. That's just, that's, that's just part of the game, though. You yeah, know, that's going to happen. Be. Even, the, even the, the pros do that. Yeah, sometimes. But, yeah. you know, it's always a learning experience. Try to get over the next one. Yeah. That's what it is once you start running. You know, you can't do anything. You have to jump over the hurdles. You so. gotta. You can't. You can't go under them. Exactly. Well, you could. Uh, the disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you? What are you? Uh, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Uh, I'll be majoring in exercise and sports science and sports administration. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be working with the football team as an equipment manager. So that's going to be. Really exciting, really so fun. So you're already in that. Uh, you're uh, already yes, the, the equipment be. manager there. Yes, sir. All right. Way to go, Micah. Thank you, thank you. That's fantastic. All right, well, Micah's going to be with us for the, uh, for the program here. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got a couple of things for you. Okay. It's going to be a big event coming up March 25th at the WA Foster Recreation Center. It is the Aggie Baller Classic. That's the Jerry Johnson Aggie Baller Classic. You're going to hear more about that a little later on here in the program. But that's Saturday, March 25th. At 9 o'clock, tickets are only $10 for its, uh, ages 12 and up, and for 3 to 11, it's $5. And uh, if you want more information about this, this is, uh, this is uh, you can call and talk to a, a sponsor of, or to sponsor a team. Call this number, 344-8548, 344-8548. This is in the new W.A. Foster Recreation Center gymnasium there. It is a fantastic place. It's a great gymnasium. You need to see this. Really? Uh, you're into basketball? Uh, yeah, I didn't play, but yeah. I love basketball. Yeah, I, so I it's do always too. Fun. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun here at the W.A. Foster Recreation Center. Mark it on the calendar Saturday the 25th, beginning at 9 o'clock. All right? All right, a couple of other things for you here very quickly. The Pickle Festival getting underway in Mount Olive. North Carolina Pickle Festival is on the 28th and 29th of April. It's coming up soon, and uh, I think the time has passed if you're a vendor. Time has passed for you to, quali uh, for you to get information about becoming a vendor, but if you, I bet if you, if you call and you wanted to, to s sell your stuff at the NC Pickle Festival, then you could probably do that if you get in real quick. But there's going to be all kinds of things to do. The International Chili Society Cook-Off, a chili cook-off. <clears throat> it's going to be uh, helicopter rides. Uh, there's going to be a Circus Stella, a mascot race, petting zoo, pony rides. There's going to be a naturalization ceremony. That's always exciting. I love that. That's always good. Food vendors, arts and crafts, uh, student pickle... 
<laughs> art exhibit. An art exhibit. Now, what can you do with a pickle in art? Anyway, uh, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff to do, including the bike ride, the Tour de Pickle, uh, 2550 in a 75 mile route, uh, 8 o'clock registration, 930 ride, and all the way. That's always going to be a lot of fun. And I really encourage you to go to this because the Pickle Festival. Mount Olive becomes one of the largest cities in eastern North Carolina. It is enormous, and there's pickles, and there's people, and there's things to do, and a whole lot of fun, a lot of music, a lot of things to do. That's coming up on the 28th and 29th of April. Now, here's where you get your rabies shot. If you need a rabies shot, or perhaps I should say if your pet needs a rabies yes, shot. Yes, sir. That makes sense? Uh, yeah, of course that makes it sense. does. Your pet needs a rabies shot. If your pet is over four months of age, then it needs a rabies shot. Uh, the first shot... Uh, is now and then you get another in a year and then after that it's every three years but uh, any animal receiving its first rabies shot shall receive another dose one year later and then every three years after that this uh, clinic is coming up on Saturday April 1st in two locations at Eastern Wayne High School at 8 o'clock and at Southern Wayne High School at 1 o'clock then they'll do it again on April 8th and I'll tell you where those locations are later on but at Eastern Wayne at 8 o'clock and Southern Wayne at 1 o'clock on April 1st. It's only $5. That's a new price. It's lower, much lower. They cut them in half uh, coming up on April 1st, okay? All right. If you have any questions about that, the number to call is 919-731-1439. 731-1439. And if you've changed addresses, make sure you let them know that you've changed addresses so they'll have the right address on your certificate there, okay? Got Operation Medicine Drop. You heard uh, Marissa Davis and Shelley... Uh, Will is talking about this yesterday. This is coming up March 21st, Medicine Drop. Officers from the Goldsboro PD, Goldsboro Police Department, will be at the Peggy Seeger Senior Center on the 21st to collect old prescription and non-prescription drugs to be properly destroyed. They cannot accept biohazard materials, but they can accept anything else. And if you have any questions, call 919-731-1589 and ask about the Medicine Drop. At the Wayne County Public Library on St. Patrick's Day, uh, at Steel Memorial in Mount Olive, they've got Facebook basics. A lot of people are on Facebook. You on Facebook? Yes, sir. Uh, isn't everybody. Damn. But there's still some people who don't understand it or know about it or know how to use it safely. And there is a way to use it safely. It can be used in an, in, an unsafe, insafe, unsafe, insafe, unsafe <laughs> manner. <laughs> but uh, this is a class intended for beginning Facebook users, and it's the beginning of a monthly social media series, so you can register for this. Anyway, this one's going to be Friday, March 17th, this Friday, the 17th, tomorrow, tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It only goes for an hour at the Steel Memorial Library on Main Street in Mount Olive there, and I hope you're able to attend. All right, coming up, a ha, 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 ha. I, I want to save that. I want to talk about that later. Hey, go fly a kite. This is this Saturday at Charles B. Acock birth site. Uh, let's go fly a kite. From noon till three, you get to fly a kite. This is absolutely free of charge. Take your kite to Charles B. Acock and let her fly. Uh, Raven, the Wayne County Sheriff's Office helicopter will be there for, for, uh, dis on display. It's gonna be a lot of fun. A mini exhibit of kites inside the, uh, the building there in the auditorium. It's gonna be a lot of fun. From noon till three o'clock, take your uh, kite and, and go fly that rascal, right? Yes, sir. All right. All right, we've got more coming up on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Uh, we'll go to our interview next on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Right? Yes, sir. Today, Matt Whittle joins us from Habitat for Humanity. Matt! How are you doing, buddy? Pretty good, pretty good. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. You guys are rolling. you got so many we things are. going on. Absolutely. All right, first of all, and we want to talk about two things. Number one is the Restore. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the Restore? Uh, restore is uh, staying busy. We're, uh, we've got lots of donations coming in already uh, this uh, early spring. Well, yeah, er early spring. And uh, we're, we're staying busy. That floor is stocked. Uh, there's always something new in there. There's always something interesting in there. Um, and uh, the, uh, the park design uh, donations we've had, we've yes. got a, a warehouse full of them. And if folks will pay attention to our Facebook pages and our website, yeah. um, we will be announcing information about a big uh, warehouse sale for those items coming up in the end of April. These are the park design items? Yeah, the park design oh, items. Really? We, we've, got a, we've got a warehouse full of them. And so uh, we're going to be looking to, uh, to hold a big sale at our warehouse. Uh, so folks can get in there and uh, pick those items up directly uh, from there. But it'll be end of April. 
Uh, so a little bit of time, but there'll be more information on our Facebook page, um, on our website, habitatgoldsboro.org, uh, and uh, we'll get that word out there. But, but be looking for it. That is really exciting because park design is one of the, one of the premier, one of the finer uh, uh, furnishings. Absolutely. Uh, uh, they, they make all kinds of well, things they, for the home. They, they do all kinds of home interior items, uh, 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 small furniture items. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they were, they were so gracious to us, uh, so generous to, uh, to, to make such a large donation. Um, and uh, uh, we've just been blessed by it. It's, it's been a, a, a real popular um, item. It's a popular items in our store. Yeah. And so we're looking forward to, uh, to getting those out to folks and, and sharing them even, right. that's, even, that's even more. That's fantastic. Well, let us know how that goes so we can talk about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we'll, so I'll see you before then. So we'll be sure to uh, share that information. We're still getting some details lined up, but, but definitely, folks, uh, keep it, pay attention to our uh, Facebook pages mm -hmm. and our website as we roll out some of the details and the times and all for all that. Right, so so, how, so. Do, how do we find you on Facebook? Uh, Facebook, just search uh, Habitat Goldsboro Wayne. Um, and uh, we'll pop uh, pop right up, like our page. Um, we try to keep folks uh, informed of what's going on, share some pictures from the construction sites. Mm -hmm. um, we have our uh, also our Habitat Goldsboro uh, Restore uh, page, um, so you can search for that as well. Um, and that uh, we try to keep folks up to date with what's new in the store, what sales we might have going on. Oh, that's great. Um, it's really the best way for us to get the word out. Uh, a lot of people seem to respond. Okay, so that's Habitat, Re Habitat Goldsboro Restore mm -hmm. and Habitat Goldsboro Wayne. Right, right. We All have right. two pages, one for the store and one just for the general affiliate, talking more about our uh, construction yeah. activities and all. All right, well, and one, a couple of final things on, on the Restore is that you have absolutely everything in the world in there. Absolutely everything. It, it, it's amazing sometimes what, what comes off out of uh, people's cars, what comes off our box truck uh, when those donations come in yeah. and 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 sometimes a lot of times there's some real treasures in there yeah. uh, they always say one man's trash is another man's treasure yeah um, but we've we've got a lot of treasures in there um, well, I've so seen folks some of the uh, ought to come I've, check it out i have bought some of the treasures there well, we and, appreciate uh, it yes sir and i'll be back <laughs> for more as well restore is on uh, mulberry street exactly uh near the back side of the of city hall mm -hmm. absolutely uh, which is on uh, center street but uh right there near the corner between john and and uh, center street downtown mm -hmm. Right. All right. Now let's get to the business at hand about what uh, Habitat for Humanity is all about. Sure. That is building homes and helping people into those homes. Building homes and uh, giving folks opportunity to uh, to become homeowners. Right. That's that's our, our, our primary mission. That's what we do. Um, and we always tell folks that we don't give the homes away. It's not a giveaway. Uh, it's not a giveaway program. We can't. I, I can't seem to say that enough. But uh, we, right. we sell the homes. Um, affordable mortgage. Uh, that, that, that's really the key, um, is, is that affordable mortgage and giving folks the opportunity to, uh, to, to create that, that better future, to create a, a new foundation, a stable foundation, um, a strong foundation of, of, of home ownership. And this, this uh, is for people who are uh, borderline, you might say. Right. We, we, we serve, uh, we, we say the low to moderate income. And it's really folks, um, they have an income, mm -hmm. and, and, that, and that's what's important, because they buy the houses. Mm -hmm. So they have an income. Um, they, uh, they're, they're, they're doing a lot of things good, a lot of things right, um, but maybe they've had some problems with their credit in the past. Um, maybe that income isn't quite where a traditional bank, a uh, traditional mortgage lender would be looking for it to be. That's where Habitat comes in. Yeah. Uh, we're able to work with them and uh, build with them. And, uh, and give them, like I said, the opportunity to become homeowners, and it works out well. It does work out well, and it's not only that. The the, the new homeowner has to put their own time into building that home. Absolutely, as well. absolutely. So uh, they pay uh, they pay for they pay their mortgage every month, right? Um, but they also put in 300 hours of a sweat equity, 300 hours of that volunteer time uh, when they're working on their home, mm -hmm. uh, working on homes of others in line ahead of them, um, and, and really. It's, it's, I guess, an old saying, but they kind of putting that skin in the game. Yeah. And uh, really uh, investing into their new home. And we're not necessarily talking about sawing and using heavy equipment. We're talking about maybe painting. Sure, absolutely. Maybe uh, wallpaper. Absolutely. Well, they, they, they do the, uh, the same work that, uh, that any other volunteer comes out. So if, they want, if they're out and, and really want to, uh, to run the saw, um, they're more than welcome. Yeah. We have site supervisors on hand that'll supervise them and make sure they're, they're doing it safely right. and that they're cutting uh, the, the right amounts that they've measured twice and cut once. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't get that right. I, I know. I know. Keep, uh, I'll always try to cut twice. It doesn't work. Twice. But, uh, <laughs> doesn't work for me. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, so I mean, they, they participate in every phase of it from, from the, the very beginning, putting in the floors, putting them to walls, yeah. to, uh, to the painting. Um, at, at the very end, yeah. uh, to, so it's a it, it's really a partnership between the volunteers and the homeowners and the Habitat staff. 
All right. Now, you uh, from time to time, you'll put up a house that is a uh, invites a special group or organization right. to come by and, and Absolutely. help. Absolutely. Such as? Such as our Women Build. Um, ah. That's one we have coming up uh, in May. The dates are uh, May 11 through 13. Okay. Um, again, our website has the information on it, if, if you don't remember from, from, from our discussion. Mm -hmm. um, it's, that's uh, habitatgoldsboro.org. Uh, um, that's May 11 through 13. And um, Women Build is a really special event. Um, we do it every year. It's a part of an, a, a national effort by Habitat for Humanity um, that, uh, that really focuses on getting uh, women out um, involved on the construction sites. Um, and, and it's not just uh, in order to get women out, but it's also women supporting women. Uh, I went back uh, early, a couple of weeks ago and looked at our uh, uh, numbers, mm -hmm. uh, did, did some figuring on our uh, homeowners and our current homeowners, and over 70% of our current homeowners, when they applied, they were single moms. Oh, really? Um, so, it's, so this Women Build is a really neat opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this year it happens that the family that's, that's going to be the Women Build uh, house, um, they, they are a, a, a more traditional family, uh, a husband, wife, uh, a couple kids. But, um, but m almost 7% of our homeowners um, apply to us as single mothers. Wow. Uh, which, is, which is incredible when you think about it. So the idea of women coming together to help build these houses, yeah. Yeah. Um, in many cases for single mothers, um, is, it, it, it's a really neat energy uh, yeah. that goes into it. Now, this is not the first women build. I think no, this is what, the third or fourth? Oh, no, we, we've there. been doing it for, for probably 10 years I or so. I didn't know that. Yeah, we, oh, we've been great. around for 15. Well, so I know long. you have. You've been around a long time. You built, uh, how many houses? What, what are we on now? Um, our women build house, uh, I believe, will be our 75th house. Wow, 75 homes, mm -hmm. 75 families. That is amazing. It is. It that is, is just it's, absolutely amazing. And these families would otherwise perhaps not even have a chance to even own a home. And, and many of these families, if not for Habitat, um, would likely still be in a, a substandard housing yeah. uh, sort of situation. So they, they, we see families coming out of dilapidated houses where they holes in the ceiling, holes in the floors, uh, heat and air don't work. Uh, landlords, uh, for whatever reason, won't make repairs. We have folks that come to us that are living in overcrowded situations mm -hmm. where where you have a, a mom and three or four kids living with her sister and her three or four mm -hmm. kids in a two to three bedroom apartment. It, a place is not set up for that, for that many people. Um, and then you have folks that, that, that come to us who are looking to, to, to move up out of areas like the, uh, uh, the public housing. Mm -hmm. um, those are, are, are never meant to be permanent. So these folks are taking advantage of, of opportunities for home ownership and, and getting out of those areas and, and, and establishing that foundation for their children and their children's children. Um, so it's, it's a really great, to me, and, and, and I hope everybody agrees, but it's a, it's a really good program um, that really sets the, the foundation, or helps families set the foundation for themselves for the future. I absolutely agree. And Women Build is not the only one. You have other special areas uh, We do. We have, as well. uh, we have uh, opportunities for churches to get involved mm -hmm. in a particular build. Uh, we have teachers uh, that come in and help build a house. We, we have days for, uh, special build days is what we call them, for a lot of different areas. So teachers, uh, we recently did a, a challenge with the uh, doctors and lawyers. Oh yeah. Um, we uh, have uh, one for the for the big big, uh, big industry leaders in the uh, in the county or CEO build day. There you go. Um, so lots of opportunities, and of course, you don't have to take it. You don't have to join us on any of those days. You can just come out and build any time. Any time. Uh, we'd Volunteers. love to have you. Absolutely. Any time. Absolutely. We have a, we have a lot of support from the base. Oh yeah. Uh, they come out. Um, yeah. We have somebody from the base almost every weekend. Um, out there great? building with us. Isn't and it's great? incredible. Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, they support so many people in so many ways. Absolutely. And, uh, Habitat for Humanity is, is, is uh, certainly one deserving organization that needs help from everybody. And we appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Now, and Women Build is coming up in May. It's coming up in May. So uh, we just opened registration um, on our website. It's $100 uh, to register. So it acts as a fundraiser for us. But that also gets you a t-shirt, mm -hmm. uh, gets you lunch while you're there. Mm -hmm. um, we do some, uh, some fun uh, team building exercises. We have some, uh, some good door prizes, some uh, little swag bags, thank you bags, I guess, uh, to give away. So it, it's a fun event. Um, I, I have yet to talk to anybody who participated in it and, uh, and, and, and said they didn't have fun. So uh, I feel pretty certain that anybody who comes out will enjoy it. So uh, look on the website for registration. That's uh, habitatgoldsboro.org. It's May 11 through 13, and we'd love to have folks come out. I'll tell you, I've been to a couple of the women builds, and you would be really surprised at you, who you will see standing on a, on a construction site wielding a hammer. Absolutely. You'd really be surprised, and, and with a saw and all that. And doing time. a great job. Yeah, absolutely. Well, look, Matthew Whittle, I appreciate it. Looking yes, forward sir. to your uh, 
to your coming in the, again the next time, letting us know how things are going. Absolutely. All right, Matthew Whittle is with Habitat for Humanity here in Goldsboro. What's that phone number? It's 919-736-9592. Uh, 736-9592, and that's yes, uh, habitatgoldsboro.org. Absolutely. And Habitat uh, Goldsboro Wayne and Habitat Goldsboro Restore. Restore on Facebook. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. We're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television here with our guest co-host today, Michael Castillo. Michael's a student, a senior at Charles yes, Aycock High School, sports fan. But you also, I found something interesting in our conversation before we started doing this. Uh, you are also, uh, you also have an interest in math. Yes, sir, I do. And in? Uh, science. And in science. Now, uh, are, you, are you one who's involved with STEM, or is it STEAM now? I think it's still STEM. It's, okay, well, whatever it is. <laughs> is um, no, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, whenever we took our ACT or SAT, they kind of categorized that yeah. a little yeah. bit. That way, okay, here's what you, this is like what you are. You can, um, I don't know what the word is. Like, this is what you more like. So they have different categories for that, and I did fall into the, that STEM category. But ultimately, I think um, I might just stick with the sports thing. Stay with sports, yeah. Well, stay with what you love. Yes, sir. Stay with what you love. That's that's the thing to do, and you'll you'll probably you know it, it can always come back. You can always come back to that. Always mm. come back to that. It's not always bad to have a backup plan. No, it's always good to have a plan B. All right. In fact, I heard you mention that a little while ago. Uh, plan B. Uh, let's go to something else here now, very quickly. Just a couple things for you, very quickly. Um, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Don't forget, April 3rd, the senior games, speaking of sports, senior games, uh, don't go up against a senior. <laughs> they're t they're t they will beat you every time. I'm serious. <laughs> Seniors are tough. So uh, the senior games begin April 3rd with the, uh, the kickoff of the senior games at the Senior Center on East Ash Street beginning at 9 a.m. And then the entire month of April, there's going to be senior games going on around the Wayne County area, all over the place. So if you ever get a chance to attend any of these, you will see some tough comp competition. Uh, in fact, uh, I, uh, last week I saw on a news clip of two men in their 90s running a 100-yard dash or a 100-meter dash. Oh, wow. Oh, it was fantastic. <laughs> One guy was 93 and the other was like 96 or 7. And, they, and don't mess with seniors. They're tough. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh boy, anyway, uh, uh, that, uh, the senior games during the month of April. You could go online to Senior something. I can't remember the website. Anyway, uh, Rob out at the Senior Center has that website. Uh, the, the Senior Games website, and they, there's a schedule of where they're going to be and what they're going to be doing, okay? We've got the Make a Difference Food Pantries Golf Tournament, the second annual golf tournament. It's coming up in June, June 16th. You can go ahead and plan for that now. You can register the day of the event. There's two tee times available. You can register at 7.15 and 11.15, and then tee times, 8 o'clock and noon, at Goldsboro Municipal Golf Course. The format is the four-man Super Bowl. Do you play golf? I have before. Have you really? Yes, sir, I have. I never got the hang of it myself. <laughs> anyway, it's $55 per player, and that's really a good price. And that includes two raffle tickets and a goodie bag. Lunch will be provided by the Texas Roadhouse of Goldsboro, and that's always good. And if you want to be a sponsor, you can uh, find out about that as well. But anyway, that's coming up the second annual on June 16th. I mention it now so you can get ready for it. Or you can actually call or actually write and make a, uh, either make a donation or you can uh, buy a sponsorship for lunch or for a hole or for the cart. Sponsorship deadline's May 22nd. May 22nd on that. All right? All right. Uh, it's time now to find out what makes today special. That's a kind of a thing we've got uh, okay. here. Today is the 16th, right? Today is the 16th. It's the first day of the second half of the month. That work? <laughs> and this is the only time this month there'll be a 16th of the month. Really? Do you realize that? <sighs> I'm still trying to think about it. Think about that. <laughs> I do this every day. Uh, I do, isn't that terrible? <laughs> I do that terrible. Uh, today is Freedom of Information Day, 
It is also Goddard Day. And I don't know if that's the uh, Mark Goddard or if that's Goddard from the, uh, the, the, the space science Goddard from years ago. It's Lips Appreciation Day. Do that. Um, I'm yeah. okay. Oh, he's okay. He's not <laughs> going to do that. Chicken. Anyway, today is No Selfies Day. You don't, okay. No, and today not. is No Selfies Day. Did I mention that? Okay. Anyway, here's today's trivia question. We have a trivia question okay. here today. All right, here's today's trivia question. The category is animal collectives. All right, everybody's heard of a herd of cows, right? Or, uh, uh, you know, a group yeah, of uh, yes. groups. All right, animal collectives. What's a smuck? A smuck? A smuck. A smuck. Uh, it's either a smuck or a smack. It's either one. All right, this is something you'll find in the ocean. It's like a, something you find in the ocean. It's an a animal collective. Tell me what is a group of smuck. It is a group of what? That's the trivia question for today. We'll have the answer for you coming up in the next segment of Wayne Goldsboro Television. Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Mike Castillo. I'm here with Sergeant Jason Adams today. Nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Doing well. Doing good. Okay, uh, Sergeant Adams has a Crime Stoppers report for us this week. Now, what, can you tell us about the Crime of the Week? So, Crime of the Week this time is, uh, for this week, is a robbery with a dangerous weapon that happened at CVS Pharmacy um, on Wayne Memorial. Okay. So, it's a busy area um, and everything. It's right there at Lock Haven and... Uh, um, Wayne Memorial just passed uh, 70 going towards the hospital actually mm -hmm. so uh, what happened is we actually had an individual um, two individuals that came in um, one displaying a weapon and uh, demanded money and the second individual uh, actually went behind the counter and took the money mm. well that's uh, unfortunate to hear like he said it was um, an armed robbery which uh, that's pretty bad isn't it sir? Yep. so it is a felony um, which is uh, um, eligible for a Crime Stoppers reward up to a thousand dollars and everything um, and so you know anybody that has any information um, you know uh, we just need their help okay uh, now what can these people if they have information what can they contact so they can actually call us at 919-735-2255 and that's call or text um, call that text. number mm -hmm. okay like you said you can uh, call or text that number please be anonymous uh, if you have any tips for the stopping crimes or any information that can lead to an arrest or whatever oh sorry <laughs> now um first of all i like to thank you you know mm -hmm. i know a lot of people don't show respect to um police uh, police officers you know firefighters yeah. military so i just want to thank you yeah. for um, you of know course. helping thank the community you. helping the city now um, you know me myself uh, i'm not i'm not wanting to what's the word like um i don't want to be a police officer that's right. not what i want to do now what led you to ultimately have a career in the police force? So what led me to the police department was actually, um, I was in the military, um, served eight years actually in the security police, so, so military police. And after I got out, um, unfortunately for a medical uh, mm -hmm. disability, I um, came to the Goldsboro Police Department. I wanted to continue in that police uh, career field. And my ultimate goal was um, to continue as an investigator because that's what I did in the Air Force was criminal investigations. And so I've continued that uh, here and, and now actually uh, to, you know, no longer an investigator, but um, being the, the Crime Stoppers coordinator and everything, I wanted to, you know, be able to help the public and stuff. And I know the public wants to help us. Um, yes, and there are people out there that really want to reach out and, and make their uh, communities safer and better places to live. And Crime Stoppers is one of those things that, you know, keeps them anonymous so that they don't have to worry about retribution. They don't have to worry about testifying in court um, or, you know, worried about if they talk to the police, if, you know, what's going to happen to them or their family. So it's a very um, safe way um, to remain anonymous because um, we do not want to know who they are um, and such. So it allows them to be able to reach out to us and us to help them make their community a safer place. Well, that's good. That's uh, very interesting. Like I said, um, so you do have a military background. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know, I have a lot of family in there as well. So again, utmost respect, you know, a lot of people don't give credit to, you know, soldiers that served or mm -hmm. are serving. So again, thank you. So 
Well, your job as a, you just recently became the Crime Stopper Coordinator, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, what would you say is your daily job? What do you do on a daily so basis? I, as a supervisor with the department, um, my job is uh, I handle all the Crime Stoppers uh, calls that come in for actually Wayne County, not just for the Goldsboro Police Department. So I cover the Goldsboro Wayne Crime Stoppers. Okay. Um, so I'm taking tips for Mount Olive, Pikeville, Fremont, Wayne County Sheriff's Office, and um, Goldsboro Police Department and it's my job to take those tips and make sure they get prop properly disseminated to the uh, proper agencies. That's my main uh, job. My second one is I'm actually over the crime prevention section. So as a sergeant of the crime prevention I actually supervise the school resource officers um, at Goldsboro High School, Dillard Middle School and then we have a roaming um, officer that covers the elementaries and okay. other middle schools. And then as the crime prevention unit I supervise them um, and those are our great instructors uh, our crime prevention officers that are going out uh, Corporal Davis has the uh, medicine drop coming up uh, mm -hmm. next um, March 20th time frame so we do that we supervise over the uh, national night out uh, and other kind of community events that we do so that's what I as their supervisor oversee okay well again congratulations on uh, becoming the coordinator for the crime service now in movies and in maybe in some forms, there's a, it's always a big thing about cops and donuts. Oh, yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> is there any truth to that? Uh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm a coffee drinker. I'm not uh, a donut okay. eater. Uh, so, uh, but yes, you know, it, it's just like with any food, I, I guess, uh, you know, everybody has their favorite. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that a lot of that came about just because at three or four o'clock in the morning, um, you know, you don't have many restaurants open. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't mind many places. So, the coffee uh, donut shops were the places that were open so you know they're getting their donuts ready and stuff so cops actually went and and sat in there and stuff they may not actually ate donuts but you see the cars there and and stuff so that uh, I guess that um, stereotype has <laughs> <laughs> has uh, followed us and everything but that was actually kind of what a lot of people associate with cops and donuts is because uh, that was the only places that were open at the time. Yeah, I completely understand. You know, <laughs> sometimes you're, you're really early, you're really hungry. You know, you got to do what you got to yeah, do. Exactly. All right, again, we're here with uh, Sergeant Jason Adams. Again, thank you for yeah. letting me interview yeah. you a little bit. Yeah. Thank um, you. Again, if you have any tips or any uh, questions or concerns about uh, the crime of the week, please contact the Crime Stoppers number. Yep. And that number is 919 735 2255. Okay, thank you. Adams, Nora, David, Robert, Edward, William, Sam. And we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Today is the 16th, it's Thursday, and that means tomorrow is another day, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, sir. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow, I guess, will be Friday, right? The last uh, work day of the work week. And we're here today with uh, Michael Castillo. Michael, a student at Charles B. Acock. I'm glad you've been with us today. Thank you. It's Thank been you for interesting having me. Having it. Yes, sir. It's been a quite an eventful day. Okay. Has it been eventful? Yeah. It's been eventful. You heard this. No okay. school. Right. No what? No school. <laughs> no school. Thank you very much for that. I thought he was talking about us, but it's no school day today. Well, you've got to go. Some, yeah. Somewhere today, right? Yeah, uh, gotta go back. Gotta go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we've got on June 12th, we've got a uh, summer camp coming up. This is for uh, the Fun Bunch Summer Camp. It's for ages 6 to 12 years of age. It takes place at Herman Park Center. And if you want to know more about this, you can talk to the folks over at the Parks and Recreation Department. That number, 919 73 something. Oh, here it is. 739. 7480-739-7480. The cost on this particular camp is $65 per week per camper. They will provide lunch, field trips, skating, fishing, bowling, arts and crafts, sports and games, swimming, and a whole lot of fun. There you go. It starts at 7.30 a.m., goes all day till 5 o'clock, ages 6 to 12, uh, sponsored by Parks and Recreation Department of Goldsboro. Okay, here's another one. This one starts in April. This is right away, next month. Uh, spring Break Camp. It's for with skating and bowling and fishing and sports. Uh, this one starts at 7.30, goes to 5 also. It's for ages 6 to 13. Bring your own lunch, please. April 17th through the 21st. Sponsored by, again, the Recreation and Parks Department. 
Uh, $50 per child, and the number is 919-739-7491. 739-7491, Spring Break Camp. All right, Have a Heart for Kids coming up March 31st. This is right away, uh, 6 p.m. This, this uh, benefits the uh, communities in schools of Wayne County, communities in schools. If you have questions, you want to make a donation or whatever, uh, mail a, your check to S. No, no, don't do that. Just send it over to 308 North William Street, 308 North William to the Communities in Schools of Wayne County. And if you have questions, then you can email sbennett at ciswayne.org, ciswayne.org, sbennett. And that's Selena Bennett. She does a great job. She can help you with any kind of questions you might have. Our friend uh, Ryan sent this from the Special Olympics. There's going to be a yard sale April 1st. That's a Saturday, April 1st from 8 to 1. And you, you can actually take part in this by renting a space and then selling your stuff for $10 a space, and that includes a table. And this will be at Herman Park Center. You've got to register for this no later than March 28th. And if you have any questions about the Special Olympics Yard Sale Fundraiser with proceeds benefiting the Special Olympics Athlete Council Club, call 919-739-7451. 919-739-7451, the yard sale benefiting Special Olympics. All right. Yeah, we got more of this. We got more of this. We're out of time. We got to run, got to get out of here, got to move, got to go on, got to bamboose, got to scoot. We're going to do that right now. We'll be back in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm reminded. Hey, 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 don't forget. The trivia question, uh, the answer to today's trivia question is what uh, the question was what is a smuck, an animal collective? It is a group of these animals. And if you're standing there looking at a smuck, you're standing there looking at a group of jellyfish. Jellyfish. Good job. <laughs> uh, there you go. I told you that, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, good job. All right. With Micah and, uh, and uh, Micah, Micah Castillo, our guest co-host today. I appreciate you coming in, buddy. You did a good job. Thank you. Great job. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in here tomorrow morning at 7. Hope you have a great day. Please drive carefully. Always wear your seatbelt.